Hey, how's it going? This is, isn't this what I left? No, this is what I left. <laughs> the previous video I did, I made this wonderful masterpiece. And what are we calling it? What is the Crafty Cat Lady? And anyway, I don't know what I'm calling it. I just did it and I, oh, um, uh, pencil etchings, <laughs> colorful pencil etchings, maybe. And then during that video, I kind of rubbed, took the baby wipe, and I rubbed this, and it smoothed it out, and I was like, oh, that's cool. So this video, I am going to smooth out these, this, this chicken scratch that you see, and see if I can do it. And I want to also try these. This is how I discovered that I could do colorful pencil etchings, you know, using my journal. Uh... With this one, uh, Shapir Shapira Farben oil-based colored pencils, I took mixed media paper and I tore it up and put it down, put mixed media paper on it and made the etchings. And then the craftivity was to practice punching half circles. And then after that, I just like cut up the paper with the punches and stuff. And I thought, hey, you know, I wonder if the color will... Uh, this doesn't look as chicken scratchy as this one does, but I wonder if this will work. So I'm going to try it with something that doesn't already have color on it. Let's try it. It does a little bit. This has had a, a couple of days to dry, so to speak. Although I wouldn't consider... Yeah, see? It's doing it. I wouldn't consider... Uh, oil-based pencils to need any drying time because they're colored pencils. Uh, they're not water-based colored pencils, although <laughs> now I'm thinking maybe they are a little bit <laughs> watercolor pencils. Oh, these are supposed to be oil-based. Makes me want to try the polychromos ones and see if I get the same effect with those. Where did, what did I do with them? <laughs> I don't know. That's not too bad. Let's try this nice pretty blue. It's like maybe cerulean blue or something. Yeah. Be careful. I'm I'm probably going to add these to my journal. Making my own scraps for it. Cool. This is not as much, I'm thinking. You think I need to come down? I'm going to come down a little. Zoom in. Okay. I just have to move it up. Not too bad. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just a minute. Playing dropsies. Looks like a funky banana. Okay, let's try this one. Yeah, that looks cool. And put that on there. And the green. gets a little sticky if you put your finger on it. Not sticky, but, you know, wet. Wet your finger and then to pick up a piece of paper that you can't pick up otherwise. I know you've done it. Hit the like button if you've done that before. Okay, so those are pretty cool. I'm not, I'm not going to do the other ones. I have a whole mess of them uh, right here. <laughs> So, I'm not going to do these. I'm just going to leave them as is. Maybe maybe the bigger parts, but not on this video. Okay. So, I want to do these. These were... This was done more recently. 
but as you can see, even letting uh, letting them sit for a few days with those over there. Oh, I have to remember I'm zoomed in. You're zoomed in, Tammy. <laughs> remember that, please. It is pulling off some of the color. Let me try a fresher baby wipe. I just filled my OXO container. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That does make a difference. I just have to remember to stay in, in view, look up more often. Cool, and then we're gonna go back over here. Because I got a little purple here. Pretty neat. So now this is something to consider when I use these, uh, maybe on mixed media paper, that's what this is, or watercolor paper, oh yeah, I mean that's quite a lot. You're probably out of range there. Maybe it'll come out a little bit. Yeah. That way I don't have to worry so much. Am I in view? Am I out of view? Maybe it was too much in... Too zoomed in. Sometimes I get a little carried away with zooming in. Cool, cool, cool. What's that got on the page here? <laughs> on my parchment paper, which we know now can be colored in. Do you know that? It should be on my video, um, on my channel, when I made painty papers. I think it was a, was that a sip video? Man, I can't remember if that was. I, uh, I was getting ready to post the Sip Day 14 onto YouTube on my channel, and my internet, um, I can't, uh, my internet is really weird right now. It's, it's not behaving the way I'd like it to behave. Uh, as in, and the first time I noticed that I was doing stuff for work, I was posting grades, and it wasn't, it would save the the postings, the grade postings, which is what you do. You hit submit and it saves it. And it would come up and say that I saved it successfully, but it wouldn't save, like, uh, it wouldn't show the whole page. What it does is it brings the, the grade page back and it says you've saved it successfully. But, and that's, and then what I would do is I, I copy that whole page and I paste it into a Word document so I have it for my records, but it wasn't showing the whole page. Like, it would only show the first four names or something, and I thought, well, that's weird. Why is it doing that? And I thought, I just thought everybody or more people were posting grades Saturday afternoon, and that's why it wasn't behaving itself. Maybe it was a lot of traffic or something on Jagnet for some reason. I don't know. That's the, that's our portal for uh, so students can register and so teachers can check rosters and things like that. 
And so that's what I chalked it up to. But then later on, I had problems with the internet. And when, in particular, when I was in YouTube, and I thought, well, this is weird. Why is this? It's, well, it's not showing some of the thumbnails on my channel, or some of the thumbnails are missing or not showing. The titles are there. Like, I would go and click on the home the home page of YouTube and the titles would be there and there would just be a rectangle and it's blank but it's showing how many minutes the video is and I thought well that's weird too <laughs> that's just that's weird now this yellow one uh, the yellow didn't, doesn't show up or it doesn't show the impressions as clearly as the darker colors do when I did this etching and and I did make a note of that on the in the video but that's the first time I noticed it it was when I did uh, did this for the first time and I wasn't on video I thought oh I might want to steer clear of the the yellow but no I went right ahead and and did it anyway just to show my viewers the yellow doesn't uh, show the Im the impressions of the paper underneath the shapes. Ooh, that is cool. I like it. All right. <laughs> that is probably one of the shortest videos I've done in a while. A little over 10 minutes. So now we're going to, now you know, I'm going to do it this way in case I get confused when I download these videos later. And I'm just going to put put these on here. Like that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's kind of weird. That one, that one looks like it's almost like it should be there. This one, hmm. Whatever, I'm setting up my shot. Don't you see? I do do that. That's weird. Okay. Smile. Awesome. Sign out. <laughs> Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Share this video everywhere, everywhere. Tell all your friends and family members. Hey, watch the crazy, I'm sorry, crafty cat lady. <laughs> watch the crafty cat lady. Do her thing. Okay. Randomize. Awesome, awesome. Have a corgi day. Did I say that right? I didn't even say that right. <laughs> Have a quirky day. It was a quirky word. Quirky is hard to pronounce, apparently. <laughs> At what time? 3.24 in the morning. So, I'm hoping that my internet is more up to par, up to speed later on today, because i got to finish my paperwork. And, thanks for watching. Bye.